Hey guys, how's it going? So, some of you are having trouble with Bluetooth issues in Windows 10, and uh, the last video seemed to work for most people, and sometimes uh, the driver doesn't come back after, and you have to manually install it. So, um, for those of you still having issues, I thought I'd make a video to kind of clarify that. So, um, first things first, what happened is in July, we got a huge spike in views, basically because uh, Windows released an update that essentially was supposed to update the Intel driver, but it would first uninstall it. And there was an issue with the uninstall process that would you know, uninstall the driver, but it wouldn't put it back. So a lot of people's Bluetooth just stopped working. So um, we figured that out because uh, we had the, the big spike in, in views, and then this came out in the comments. Um, a link to this in the comments, I should say, um, saying Wi-Fi and Bluetooth driver update for Windows 10 because um, the update messed up. So this is basically their explanation of what happened and a way to fix it, which is basically manually reinstall the driver. Uh, they do have the downloads here on this link, which I'll supply on the comments, so you could actually install it for your, yourself. But there's also another method. Um, since it was with Intel, it's most likely an Intel driver that you have to update. And if you're not sure which one, you can go to the Intel website and actually do the Intel driver update utility, which um, will search your hardware for the actual driver and install it. Now, in the off chance that you don't have um, Intel drivers or you're using your laptop and you don't know what you're using and you want to just look it up, um, I would recommend looking up your laptop model number in Google and downloading um, the drivers directly from their website. If you can't and you really need to find out what model um, Bluetooth driver you have, go ahead and go into your device manager, just like in the other video. Right click on, um, it won't say Bluetooth because the driver is gone, it'll say unknown device. Right click on your unknown devices and go to properties. You're going to go to details and hardware IDs. And all you do is you right click on the hardware ID, copy it, and search Google for the hardware ID. And that'll tell you basically what it is. Um, if you have more than one unknown device, it's a great way to find out what hardware they are. And that way you could actually search for the specific driver and install it. But that's basically what happened. Your, your Bluetooth um, hardware is likely just fine, and you just have to install the driver. And um, those are a few ways you can accomplish that. So I hope this helped. Thanks. Peace.